net. Not because we are smart. We are not smart people. But we are very optimistic. We believe in the future. We believe in internet. And we believe that if we do not succeed, somebody will. And we know that we have to be humble. We have to serve our customers. The investors may not like us. If the customers like us, we have the futures. Right. Most of the company die not because they don't have money, because they have too much money. And we didn't have a plan. You know, I, I understand a lot of venture capital say, Jack, what is your business plan? I say, I don't have a business plan. So how can I give you money if you don't have a business plan? And my answer is, how can you giving you business plan of internet e-commerce in 1999? The only thing is how can using internet to support the to support the customers and understand the customers, make the customers successful, we know only our customers su su succeed, we will be successful. So this is how we did it. And I, I, uh, I really am very thankful for America. 1995, I went to Seattle, discovered the internet. And year 2001, 2002, when the internet almost bu bubble bursted, I was happened to be in Seattle again. In my home, in my friend's home, I watched a wonderful movie called Forrest Gum. <laughs> I like the sentence, it reminds me every, every time when I have a problem, I tell myself, this is what Forrest Gum said. He said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. And I find the Forrest Gum made a fortune by catching shrimps not catching wheels. So helping small business will make me like a forest gum. Forest gum, just to keep on running. Be simple, serve the people. That was what I learned. And also, I think the very important is after so many years, I learned, I keep on telling myself, I want, uh, yesterday I told you, and today I want to tell you again. As an entrepreneur, believe every day is difficult. Today is very difficult. Tomorrow is much more difficult. But believe in the day of tomorrow. That day is very beautiful. But most people die tomorrow evening. If you don't work hard, you don't see the sunshine. And people say, how could you inspire people when days are so bad? We hire people who are very self-motivated. Don't hire people who are very sort of complaining. As a leader, you should never complain. If you complain, nobody will follow you. Nobody loves to follow a leader who complains a lot. And we have to be optimistic. I'm lucky enough to see, to meet so many great business leaders in the world. I find all of them, they are very optimistic. I find all of them never complain, and they, I find all of them want to make sure that their team are better. 18 years later, now from 18 founders, now we got more than 50 thousand people and from my apartment we got a lot of our campers today and we have uh, achieved over 550 billion US dollars GMV sales last year and we also have more than half billion users using our services in China alone and every day more than 200 million people shopping through a mobile phone on our site. And one thing you believe or not, I, I just don't understand. There are about more than 60 million people browser our, 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 through a mobile phone every night without buying anything. <laughs> and uh, we also created more than, thir more than 33 million jobs. This is what we feel for China. This is what we feel most proud of. Our goal is that we have a bigger, even crazy. We, yesterday I told you, by year 2036, we tried to build an economy that be the world fifth largest economy. For our GME last year, we are ranking number 21 or 22 in the world. In the next 20 years, we want to be the fifth. In the fifth largest economy, we want to support two billion consumers. We want to create 100 million jobs for the world. We want to support 10 million business, be profitable on our platform.